What's up, everyone? This is Dina Rose. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to give you a follow up on Mr. Martel LeVar Holt. Y'all know yesterday we went live to talk about his arrest by the Huntsville Police Department. He was in Madison County Jail for about three hours, booked at 402, released at 701. His information is still on the Madison County website, okay? The police department website, if you wanted to look it up yourself. Uh, but we were trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, we know that he was arrested on a prior or a previous warrant for domestic violence that deals specifically with harassing communications. So uh, the state of Huntsville actually has a domestic violence um, code uh, that falls under harassing communications specifically. We haven't heard anything from Martel uh, since he was arrested last night, but it looks like a little bit ago, uh, there was a statement that was released. So we're going to talk about that along with a few other things that have been floating out there on the internet. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Please hit that like, subscribe, your notification bell, share this video with others, okay? That's how they find me here on YouTube. Make sure you are following me on all platforms at Diana Rose, and I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me, okay? So let's get it started, y'all. Yeah. Um, y'all remember her. This is Jonelle. Uh, she is a PR rep. I think she also has something to do with Upscale Magazine. And I told you guys that it was believed that Sheree Whitfield actually shared the same PR with Martel Holt. That's how all of those things, you know, came together with the crossover between Love and Marriage Huntsville and RHOA. Well, it looks like she responded um, to, there you go, Santana Raymond. Y'all remember him? Um, he was actually married to Delicious and he is a part of, um, I think it's called the, the Exonerated Six. Is that it? The Exonerated Five, child. The Exonerated Five. Anyway, um, she was responding to him, letting everyone know or letting him and everyone know, since it is a public post, Martel Holt is not being held without bond. He is not in jail right now. Please do not entertain these people. And no, he ain't never put his hands on no woman. Notice it says communications, but that's all I'm going to say until we are prepared to give y'all a statement. So right now, Martel is keeping it low. I told you guys, um, we all heard it. Anyone who watches the show, we heard Martel um, share that Melody was trying to put him in jail. He said that in the, I believe, episode 30 of season six, they were in the at Houston, right? They were in Houston. He was screaming at the top of his lungs in the Houston house, um, trying to, you know, tell people that Melody is this, that, and the other. And he said, she tried to put me in jail. So he may have known about this warrant, probably something that he could have taken care of, but you know, who knows why he didn't. I, I can't give him, a, give him an excuse. Um, if he had a lawyer, I'm sure the lawyer would have definitely said, turn yourself in in the same way that we saw Destiny walk herself into the courthouse to get things taken care of. Maybe he thought he could just float around and it never be, you know, no one would ever touch him, but he was picked up on that warrant, period, okay? Uh, he's not the only one talking. Uh, Marceau, Marceau Scott recently had did a little segment with Way 31 ABC out there in Huntsville. They did that little special for um, him and Tisha actually showing some of the charity work they were doing for Christmas, giving away toys. I think they um, paid for people's mortgages and, and car notes for Christmas. Well, they reached out to Marceau knowing that he is a, uh, you know, a, a, a co-star with Martel on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And Martel, Marceau gave a statement saying, uh, I've heard the unfortunate news and my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved in this terrible situation. We don't know exactly the full extent of the terrible situation. Um, it is believed that it has something to do with the revenge P that Melody had discussed um, back in 2023. I think it was around May of 2023, she did something called a uh, Day of Revelation, where she discussed or did a follow-up 
on a post she had made regarding Revenge P. Y'all remember that? Um, Carson Blue also helped bring a little more light to that situation. But Melody said that she was fully aware of it and Carson had confirmed some things that she already knew in regards to Martel trying to spread this, this video around of him and his, at the time, ex-wife. Um, so spreading that information around so that others could think it was Melody with someone else and that Melody, quote unquote, cheated to. That is also a part of the storyline that he has been saying on Love and Mirror Chunsville. Either way, that's what Marceau had to say, that he is sending prayers, thoughts and prayers to everyone involved in this terrible situation. But y'all know that Marceau has some brothers that likes to keep themselves in the mix. Um, Micah J being one of them, he's actually been on the show. He also put out a post that I guess was supposed to be like a little public thing saying praying for the entire cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, and then someone, I believe that this person may work with them at that um, at that closing office that Kimmy has. Anyway, they made the comment, what happened? He said, they just need our collective prayers. They all going through it in one way or another. Okay. Um, and she responded, will do. Uh, someone else said, what happened, bro? And again, he just responded, they need prayer, bro. You know how life be lifing, okay? Um, he limited the comments on the post, though. Uh, the other brother who was also on the show, a lot of people, I, I forgot his name. I think it's Mark. Um, he also made a comment. Um, Y'all know he is a big Martell supporter. It's so he said, he's going to be fine. This is a bitter woman doing what she can to tear this man apart. Their children are going to hate them both, uh, hate them both later for all of this. So um, he's basically um, insinuating uh, that it has to do with Martel's ex-wife, Melody Cherie. Um, there has been no comments from Own. There's been no comments from Carlos King. Melody uh, or Martel himself or any other cast members or past cast members, as far as we know at the moment, you guys. Um, but we shall see. I still, just because of what was written in those charges, think that it probably has something or more to do with um, the revenge piece situation. Again, Melody had shared in that um, Revelation Day video. I remember her stating that he had sent an image to her that she recognized right away as being the two of them. So something that she had consented to, she recognized it as it being her and her husband at that time. And then Martel shot it to her thinking that she would think it was someone else. Why? I don't know. That's got to be the craziest thing ever. Um, but that would definitely be considered harassing, even though a lot of people think that that would be more of a federal charge. Um, either way, I think they would still have to be arrested and put in um, the county jail, right? Or the local jail. And then charges would get moved forward to whatever those federal, um, you know, whoever is overseeing that federal portion of those charges. But if Mart Martel did get arrested and he was cooperating, then um, from what I'm understanding based on uh, communications that I've had with, with people in the legal field, they said that his phone, if he would give up his phone, um, they would take his phone, they would look for that particular video, they would look to see if that video went to anyone else. So then they would check to see where that video went next. Um, they would check computers and things like that. And then who would be the on the receiving end of the, that particular video, if that is what happened, okay? Whew, that was a mouthful. So if that makes sense, he would still be arrested. Then someone from a federal agency would come in and you know take over that particular case. Um, he probably would still be released on his own recognizances, right? Uh, they refer to it as OR in particular. And then um, devices would be given, okay? Assuming he's cooperating, he would give over his devices. After he's given over his devices, then they would search to see if that material um, went to anyone else and then basically check with them to see if they spread that material. That could be the reason why um, 
Martel's PR is waiting to give a statement. Maybe they want to wait until there is a, a finished investigation. Okay. Um, this is all alleged. I'm just giving you information around uh, a particular scenario if that is what he was arrested for. Okay. Um, but outside of that, you guys, y'all can talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, because I know that there's a lot of people with very strong opinions. So y'all can talk to me in the comments about all of this. Uh, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit your notification bell. Okay. And uh, share the video. I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me and I will see you later on, as soon as we get some more information about this. Okay. Bye-bye.